Hi, everybody. Let's talk about racism. Racism is a dying ideal. Let me just read a little bit of this article, and then we can talk. Will racism end when old bigots die? Shelley Fields, a 46-year-old white woman living in a um, racially diverse Chicago suburb, she says she's raised her four daughters who are biracial to see people of all races as equal, just as her parents raised her. She doesn't think that racism will ever disappear completely, but she's hopeful that it lessens with each passing generation. Now, speaking from my perspective, as I'm a white woman raised by a very bigoted um, parent, I'm Archie Bunker, was my dad, <laughs> and I'm not kidding you, I'm... I lived in a project when my two older children were about eight, nine, ten years old. And my father came to visit, and he didn't like it that my kids were playing with black kids. That's not what he said. Those weren't the words he used. And I said, listen, Dad, they don't know any different. They're children. They're out building bunkhouses, riding their bikes, and having a great time. They're not worried about whose skin is what color. If anything, my kids were at a disadvantage because when they played hide and go seek, they glowed in the dark. My kids are so white, they call them light bulbs because you know, they just about glow in the dark. Um, so, I, you know, I, I skipped the racism gene. And so have my kids. All of us, we judge people on their current actions, not the color of their skin. And I believe that like this woman is saying, um, this generation that's coming up now, my kids and my grandkids, they are not racist. There are some still pockets of people who are very racist and passing down those ideals to their, their children and their grandchildren. Might take another generation to really wipe it out. But racism's dying, let's face it. And this last-ditch effort to bring racism back with a vengeance is also dying. It's not going to go anywhere. People don't hate each other that much. We really don't. Do I think that they are demonstrating hate for each other? Yes, yeah, certainly. But we're going to all see that in the end, a lot of that was mind control. Just like um, a lot of the shootings... You know, these are all Manchurian candidates. These are sleeper cells. When our president talked about sleeper cells in America, this is what he was referring to. These are the sleeper cells. <coughs> we all think that sleeper cells are going to be... <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me. People from um, the Middle East or from Russia or from China, we think they're going to look different than us. We think there's going to be um, a big sign on their forehead that says, hey, we are, you know, like jihad and um, kamikaze bombers. And like, you know, it's not that way. Our sleeper cells, our Manchurian candidates look like us. They are us. That is the genius of the sleeper cell. It's not a foreigner pretending to be an American. They turned our own people into the sleeper cells. All right, brainwashing is brainwashing. It doesn't matter what brain you wash. It's very, very intelligent, the planning that went behind this. You know, because if, if our sleeper cells all had a label on them and we could clearly see who they were and, you know, that they were living among us, it wouldn't be too great a plan, would it? No, sir, it would not. I'm... Um, <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not racist. I don't know why I, I, I seem to get a tickle in my throat every time I want to record. Let me get a drink, sorry. Um, racism is dying. They're going to have to find something else to, to put on us. And, you know, I think that the next division will be those that are, um, are carrying the biometric tracker and those that are not carrying it 
We're going to make life hard for the people who don't take the biometrics. And that's our next separation. But racism, that's a thing of the past. And if you take a look at, um, let's say, for example, London, England. That is such a diverse city. Talk about a melting pot. London is like the old, the new America where all of the people of the world are converging. And it's happening a lot in the European states. And now people from Africa are getting smart. They want out of Africa. They want to move to out of the third world into our world. And unfortunately, nobody's liking that. That's a lot of people we're talking about. Regardless, I, it's my opinion that in a few years, we're all going to be tan. Our bloodlines are being crossed and mixed so frequently, so often, and it's such a large scale now that there will not be any true bloodlines, no true races. And maybe that's the push to find out, you know, with all the DNA testing and ancestry websites where they want your DNA so they can figure out, you know, where you came from. We stockpile seeds. We stockpile food. Doesn't it stand to reason that they would be stockpiling genetic material also? Because we're mixing it up, folks. We're mixing it up in a big way. I don't know. Just a few things for you to think about. You have a good day.